Hello, and welcome back to the Epic Railroad YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to make an awesome and realistic campfire for your model railroad layout. In this tutorial, I will be using micro LEDs from the Amazon seller Bowerful. I'm using these LEDs because they are very small and can be easily hidden in the scene. I started by painting the area in a tan color with acrylic paint to match the color of dirt. Then I drilled a small hole for the micro LEDs to be installed. The color of LEDs I will be using will be two yellow and one red to make a realistic variation of colors inside the fire. Since I will be using an Arduino to create the flickering effect with the LEDs, I will need to install a resistor on the anode of the LED, which in this case is the copper wire. To help with the installation of the LEDs, I twisted all three of them together. I then push the LEDs up through the hole. I then glued around the hole and left the LEDs in their place as a point of reference to see how close I should glue to the hole without covering up the LEDs. The glue I am using in this tutorial is some Aline's Original Tacky Glue. This can be found at your local craft store. I use tacky glue because it is very strong and dries clear. The rocks I used to put around the campfire were some very small pebbles I found in my backyard. I used this size because I felt it was very realistic to HO scale, but if you have a smaller or larger scale, you may want to find larger or smaller rocks. I then began to install the rocks around the LEDs. To act as wood for the fire, I looked in my backyard for a small twig. The twig was then cut into one inch pieces because I wanted my campfire to look more like a bonfire. After cutting about five pieces, I then started to install them in the fire pit. I glued my sticks in the shape of a teepee because I thought it added a very nice look to it. I then added some Woodland Scenics dark green coarse turf to act as bushes in the scene. Tacky glue was also used to glue down the bushes. While I was making this scene, I decided I'd do an experiment and see how well tacky glue would hold down fine turf. Now, I will show you how to connect the LEDs to the Arduino. Before connecting the wire to the Arduino, Make sure to glue them in place. If you are going to use a breadboard to connect the Arduino to the LEDs, follow these steps. First, connect a jumper wire from digital pin 9 to the breadboard. Then, Connect a jumper wire from digital pin 10 to the breadboard.
can finally attach a jumper wire from digital pin 11 to the breadboard. Next, attach the copper wire with the resistor attached to it to the breadboard. Repeat this with all the other LEDs. Then, attach a wire from the ground pin to the negative pin on the breadboard. Then connect all the cathodes, which are the silver wires, to the negative terminal. The other way you can connect the LEDs to the Arduino is by soldering on three red wires that go to each copper wire on the LEDs and then go to the Arduino. I had to solder some 22 gauge wire onto the already existing thin metal wires because they would not stay in place on the Arduino board. Attach the red wires to pins 11, 10, and 9. Then Attach a black wire to the three silver wires coming from your LEDs and then plug that into the ground pin on the Arduino. The code for the Arduino can be found in the description below. Coding for the Arduino is very simple. Just plug in the provided USB cable and then copy and paste the code from offline into the Arduino IDE software. Thank you everyone for watching. I thought this project turned out very well in my opinion and I hope it turns out well for you if you attempt this project. Stay tuned for more epic railroad YouTube videos. I upload at least once a week.